You've heard of big stars like Alan Jackson and Zach Brown Band, and the last time we met up with producer Keith Stagall, he still had plenty more stories to share behind the music we all love. Here's Kelly back with Bigger Picture Music Group head Keith Stagall. I'm Kelly Lynn, and today we're over in the studio catching up with Keith Stagall. You know his music, you know the music he's produced. We all know the Zach Brown Band. Mm -hmm. And you pretty much, did you, what were you thinking the first time you saw those guys? Because I know that you've been an intricate part of making yeah. them a Nashville success. It's, uh, I saw them at a little bar here in Nashville. Uh, was asked to go see them. And I, I, when I, when they cranked up and started playing, I just knew, you know. It was just an it was an obvious moment for me. I just went, my gosh! And I looked at Alan Cates, who was my partner. I said, you know, sit down and talk with these guys. Let's make this. We need to make this happen. And that from that moment on, we, you know, I started spending time with Zach, and and uh, then we we actually cut the record out of our Zach and I paid for the record out of our own pocket, uh, and the record set around for about a year and a half, and I. It's interesting, everybody tries to write history backwards, you know, when, from where they are now. And I'm you know, he hearing all kinds of people say, well, that, you know, Zach was pitched to us, we passed on it. And I, I never pitched it to anybody, you know. I pitched it to one guy who I trusted, and it, it wasn't a good fit for him. And so, but I did believe that the music would, would find its place where it was supposed to be. And that happened when Atlantic Records called me and said, hey, let's sit down and me and you and Zach sit down and try to figure out a way to make this work. And we've, of course, partnered with Zach and Atlantic Records. And that's so you took a chance and you believed you didn't follow the bandwagon and maybe necessarily everything that the right. town thought was going to happen. You yeah, should. I just knew that it was really, really good and it was really, really different. And uh, I, I, that's why I was very hesitant to not, to not really play it for a record label here in town because I thought nobody is going to get this, you know. So different, which obviously is what the fans are waiting for. Right. So, uh, you know, it, it, found its, it found its home where it was supposed to be, and now we're four million albums, you know, later, <laughs> and hundreds of thousands, well, millions of downloads later. You know, it's crazy, but they're, they're, they're living their dream now. What's in the future for you? Because, I mean, you've won awards, you're running a record label, working with your partners to run a record label, mm -hmm. writing songs, here demoing them. I mean, what's what are you looking forward to? Gosh, I don't know. I, uh, not retirement, for sure, not yet. I'm not, I've oh, got no, another five or don't. six years in there. I, I want to keep doing what I'm doing. I think just, uh, obviously, the most important thing right now for me, besides these incredible artists that I'm working with, I start Zach's new record in, in a couple of weeks. Uh, the most important thing to me is growing this growing bigger picture and and watching it develop and and become everything that I always wanted it to be, which is a which is a harbor for a great artist to come to and be groomed and nurtured and loved and and uh, allowed to grow and become who they really are instead of being forced into doing anything. We that's kind of our philosophy there. And for us to be partners, just like if we opened up a store together, a hardware store. We, uh, we supply the capital and all the other stuff. We help develop the career. But it, it makes more sense for the artists because they, they own everything from their copyrights to their, to their masters to, you know, so, and that's the way it's structured and the way it should be structured. Artists are, you know, there would be no, there's no record uh, business without artists. So we need to, we need to make sure they're happy. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, I'm so glad that you're involved in that and you can take care of the artists. I definitely want you to keep producing because to me, the music that you make, you let the artists do their thing and you don't overproduce. I, I think you, you're yeah. one of the very best at that. So uh, thank you very much. So continue. Obviously it's proven all the success you've had with Alan and Zach. Keith Stagall, everybody on Inside Music Row. That's not all the music we have in this week's show. We've got a very traditional country artist coming up next that you definitely won't want to miss. There's more Inside Music Row up ahead, so make sure to come on back for more right after this.